Thank you. Uh, Louis French. Speaker, since being elected to this place, strengthening animal welfare protections has been a priority of mine and an issue very close to my heart. Not only because I am an animal lover, but also my constituents of Old Bex and Sidcup are also hugely passionate about animal welfare. I made my maiden speech on the Animal Welfare Sentience Bill, where I championed the strengthening of animal welfare in law. And I am therefore proud of what the Government have since achieved on animal welfare, which is more than any other party. I am also proud to work with a range of excellent animal welfare charities and organisations. For pets, we have made microchipping mandatory for dogs and cats, which will help reunite lost pets with their owners. We protected service animals via Finn's law, banned the third-party sale of puppies and kittens via Lucy's law, as well as introducing tougher sentences for animal cruelty. Whilst on, our, on wild animals, we banned the use of wild animals in circuses, introduced one of the toughest bans on elephant ivory sales in the world, and announced only last month that we would extend this to cover five endangered species, including hippos, whales and walrus. But we can and must go further, and I welcome the Government's commitment to bring forward measures in the Kept Animals Bill individually during the remainder of this Parliament. I particularly welcome that the Government remains committed to tra cracking down on puppy smuggling and banning the imports of young, heavily pregnant or mutilated dogs, such as with cropped ears or docked towels. In 2015, the Dogs Trust, which does excellent work, set up the Puppy Pilot, which cares for illegally imported puppies seized at the border and have since cared for 2,256 puppies, which, if sold, had a market value of over £3 million, highlighting the financial incentives that the smugglers have got currently. They found that as many as 75 dogs had had their ears cropped. This is a horrific trade, which puts money in the pockets of the illegal importers, and I welcome the Government are firmly committed in cracking down on this quicker than would have been possible, and I would urge my honourable friends on the front bench to do so as soon as possible. Given the Government have already explained that these vital animal welfare protections will be delivered quicker as single-issue bills, it is therefore difficult to understand why Labour have tabled this debate today, which is nothing more than another cynical political game. For a party that claims to be in a government in waiting, where are their own policies? Do they have any? Or are they scared that whatever they announce today will be changed within weeks, like nearly all their other pledges? Where are their members? This is an opposition day, but the benches are empty. So instead of playing these political games, I would instead continue to press and support the government in championing animal welfare and providing a voice for those that do not have one. Thank you, Madam President.